Here. Good boys. The new guy is always eager to work. Some police dog, huh? That's Rudy. <laughs> I know. A three-year-old pup Here. partnered Here. with Arvada police officer Brian Loss. Good boys, I got it. Rudy's trained in the detection of cocaine, heroin, <laughs> methamphetamine, and MDMA. Off. Rudy's a new dog who never <sighs> learned an old trick. And he has proofed off of marijuana, so if he smells marijuana, he doesn't care about it. The last dog who did so this is Beaker. was coaxed into early retirement. He's a little cross-eyed. So he's named after the Muppet that was a little cross-eyed, the little scientist in the Muppets. Beaker's pot-sniffing skills were impressive. That's him in the retired life. But irrelevant in a state where weed is legal. So it's absolutely a detriment to train a dog in marijuana. And it's complicated police searches. Do we want to have probable cause established just by a dog sniff of a vehicle that may only contain marijuana legal under state law but illegal under federal law. Colorado's high court will soon review a decision that says cops using pot sniffing dogs like Beaker need a stronger reason to search a car. And if he's not reliable we can't get a probable cause for us to search the car and that is the key thing that these dogs are for. Hiring the new guy isn't cheap. Most of those dogs are anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars alone and that's without training. If you get one that's fully trained, you're looking ten to fifteen thousand dollars. The price of avoiding oh, early job. retirement. Good boys. All right. Good job. You're good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.